It's week 14 of the NFL, and the Tennessee Titans arrived at MetLife Stadium to try and beat the New York Jets in their house. The passionate Jets fans showed up in support of their beloved team. Before the game, it's tailgate time for friends and family. With barbecues and drinks outside the stadium, they're ready to go. All right, Jets are going to win today. That's no, that's a, no doubt Jets are going to win today. And then we're going to run the table, right. boys. Yeah. Let's go Jets! J-E-T-S! Jets! 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 The American football enthusiasts tossed around the football with each other and played other games enjoying the mild weather in December. With all the fans chanting for their team, one supporter led the pack. The away fans were outnumbered inside the stadium with gangrene supporters protecting their turf. With so much on the line for the New York Jets, the team appeared hungry and focused heading into the game. Even while the players already took the field to stretch, one of the big questions leading up to the match remained. Was Darrell Rivas, the Jets' top cornerback, healthy enough after missing the last two games due to a concussion? After being cleared to play, Rivas would be an important asset for the Jets. At halftime, the Jets cheerleaders head onto the field to spread some holiday joy, all dressed up in their Santa suits. Jets going all the way, baby! Jets right! Jets going all the way, baby! Let's go, Jets! Jets! The New York Jets have now won 30 to 8, and this was a very important matchup where the team is now trying to make it to the playoffs. Um, this is the time you really want to click, and this is the time you should click. Um, it's a long season. It's a long season. Um, you're going to have ups, ups and downs along the way, um, but this is when you want to play, start playing your best ball going into to hopefully the postseason. Wide receiver Brandon Marshall had one touchdown and recorded his eighth 100 plus yard game, but believes his team's current success stems from Coach Todd Bowles. Oh man, he's a special coach. He's a guy that you want to run through a brick wall for. That's the, that's honestly the main reason why I'm here compared to all the other teams that I, I could have went to. Um, it was Coach Bowles. You know, um, I didn't want to come to a team that had a first year coach. But when my man got the job, I said, that's the guy I want to play for because I know how he's going to push everyone in the building and also, you know, put us in position to win. The New York Jets' next game is at the Dallas Cowboys, and every time Gang Green steps onto the field will be important to keep their playoff hopes alive.